Okay, so far we've got this um, movie clip here called Loader MC, and inside of it is a component, a UI loader inside of it called Loader. And if we run the movie, an initial image is loaded into our image viewer, or that movie clip that I just talked about under gallery, right? So now what we need to do is load our thumbnails here. If we can get all our thumbnails here, then we can click on those thumbnails and, and load them in over here. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Okay, so our movie clip that we're going to be targeting for that, by the way, is called, here's the movie clip, I selected it, and the instance name is Thumb Holder with a capital H. All right, so now, okay, so now ideally what we want to happen is, and I'm going in here and put some lines here, we want to load If I had a function for it, I'd want to call it, and I'd call that function, and if I call that function, I would say load thumbs, right? Right, that's what I want to do. So I want to call a function, say load thumbs, and it's going to load all the thumbnails. Well, I don't have a function for that, and there's no built-in function for that. we got to write it. So anyway, I'll call the function first, right? And then I'll write the function below it. So now we'll say function load capital T thumbs notice capital T here capital T here right load thumbs open and close parentheses colon void okay and then we're going to open up the function here and then if we hit enter it closes the function so here's the we declare it's going to be a function this is the functions name and then in between the parentheses are the parameters or arguments if there are any we don't have any and then here's what the code we want to be we want to execute when we call the function load thumbs right here so uh, we call it here and here's what will get executed in within these two um, open curly brace and closed curly brace okay first thing we're gonna do in the function is declare our variable thumb loader okay thumb loader right and it's going to be a special kind of variable it'll be a loader variable okay there's a special variable special type of variable called a loader right so thumb loader Okay, so what we're going to do is, we've got this thumb loader, and what we're going to do is we're going to load all our thumbnails into this thumb loader, and then we're going to load this thumb loader, right, into our movie clip here, thumb holder, right? So they'll all eventually get put into this movie clip thumb holder. So... thumb loader equals a loader, right? We declare the variable. And now we're going to write a for loop. And a for loop gets uh, the word for and then an open and closed parentheses, right? And then it's going to get on the next line an open and closed curly brace. And this is going to be our for loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of the thumbnails to get them all added to the thumb loader, right? So first the for loop syntax. So we, first we declare our variable for our loop, variable i and uint, right? All right, that's equals zero. All right, so there's our variable zero, and then a semicolon, and then we'll say as long as i is less than images, which is our array, dot length, okay, whoops, the length of our images, and this will count how many images are in our array. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five in our array, so images dot length, right? We 
We have five images in there, so that should work for that. And then last, we going, we're going to, for this integer here, i, which equals zero, we're going to loop. So we're going to need to uh, increment it. So we'll say i plus plus, which will mean plus one, right? So it should loop from um, zero all the way up to four. So zero, one, two, three, four. And this element in the array, the first element in the array, I believe is element zero. So that should work, right? Now that's our loop. And now we want to, right now, we can do to see if this is, if this is uh, working, we could say trace i, just to see what happens here, right? We can say trace i. So we hit control enter, click OK, go to our gallery, right? And look in our output window here, and you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we know for a fact that when we trace, when trace command sends stuff to the output window, we could trace the variable i, so we know that this loop is working. So now all we have to do is code to that loop. So the first thing we're going to do is say thumb loader, which is our variable which we declared, equals a new capital L, a new loader, right? And that's a new loader object, all right? So equals a new loader object, and then thumb loader dot load. We're going to load some stuff in there. Open and close parentheses right there. Okay, and before we do this, I'm going to comment this out. We'll say thumb loader new loader, and we're going to trace thumb loader. Whoops. to actually click on the, the link before it works. Okay, so you can see that object loader, that actually created five loader objects, right? And you can see it tells you it's an object, loader object, all right, five of them. So by putting this code, thumb loader equals new loader, we end up creating five uh, thumb loaders or five loaders, right? And so I can comment that out. I'll leave it there to say that I've done that. Now, thumbloader.load, what are we going to load in there? All right, we're going to load a new URL request. And what we'll do is open and close parentheses in here. And what we're going to do is say, in the images folder, in the thumbs folder, right, forward slash. So images, forward slash, thumbs, forward slash, and then we'll say plus images, and then in a brackets, our variable i, right? All right, that should work. All right. New URL images, thumbs, and then now what this is doing is it's saying look in the images folder, the thumbs folder, plus get array in the images array, get item zero. And when it goes to item zero, it'll find image1.jpg. And what that's doing is making a URL request for images forward slash thumbs forward slash image1.jpg. And then the next time it loops, it'll be image2.jpg, and so on and so forth. And so that's pretty cool. Okay, now that each thumb loader has the image loaded into it, what we want to do is they're looping through, and as they loop through, we're going to set the X and Y property on the stage. So we'll say thumb loader dot x to create an x property for it equals our variable that we created 
thumb X. Okay, and what we'll do is so thumb loader equals thumb X. Copy, paste, and thumb loader dot will create a Y property. And we'll set that for Y, right? So we're going to be using those later. And then, so we set them now, thumb loader dot X is now equal to 15, thumb loader dot Y is now equal to 15. And as these get loaded, we want each image to be lower down on the screen. So what we'll do is we'll hit enter and we'll say thumb Y plus equals 80. And so we'll add 80, and I can put a space here, plus equal 80. So now the next time the next thumb loader is loaded, uh, Y will now equal 95. And so the next Y property will be, instead of the value being uh, 15, it'll be 95, and so on. So it'll increment every time. 